And there are a growing number of people suffering from asthma in this country. Nearly half of 20 million asthmatics are children. As Christy Feig explains, the illness is more than just losing your breath. It's dangerous and even deadly. Wendy Gregory was diagnosed with asthma at age 13. Because of it, each year of high school, she missed about 60 days of school. It's like somebody's trying to smother you, but there's no one there. You can feel your lungs actually physically get tighter and smaller, and it's hard to both inhale and exhale. Hers, like many patients, is often made worse by allergies. It can be dogs, cats, dust mites, and of course in the spring, uh, pollen. And we are seeing a lot more people in the office now with the high pollen counts that are having asthma episodes. With asthma, treatment is imperative, but it can take time to tailor it for each patient. 25% of people will miss days of work. 40% of people are waking up at night, and 50% of people who have asthma alter their activity level because of their asthma. And it can be even worse. We have um, millions of hospitalizations, emergency vi room visits each year, and unfortunately we have in this country almost 5,000 unnecessary deaths each year. In the last 20 years, new diagnoses have more than doubled. Doctors have several theories about why this is but they aren't yet certain. Christy Feig, CNN, Washington. Well, doctors are obviously concerned about the increase in asthma cases. The Centers for Disease Control looked at the problem last week in a national conference. Well, Dr. Cheryl Lucas is here to talk about identifying and dealing with asthma. She's also on the advisory board of the Allergy and Asthma Foundation. I want to thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Well, Explain this this increase that, that we are seeing. As Christy Feig reported, not a whole uh, lot of definitive information on why, but, but those increases, not just our imagination, very real. No, those are very real increases. In fact, more than 20 million Americans suffer from asthma, and about half of those are children. It can affect the, the lives of children tremendously. We don't know all of the factors, but we believe that indoor allergens, such as dust mites, cockroach, mold spores, animal dander, are factors, and outdoor air pollution can contribute. We also have a theory that the immune system is behaving differently because we use so many antibiotics. Mm keep hearing that antibiotics come up all the time what what signs for parents what signs should parents look for I mean there are obviously lots of kids also have allergies and so you wheeze and so on from from allergic reactions but when when do you draw the line what are the signals that can help you draw the line and say this could be serious well with allergic reactions we're usually talking about the upper airway more sneezing itchy eyes and so forth with asthma in children though parents should look for a change in the breathing pattern many times children will have a heaving of the chest or flaring of the nostrils mm -hmm. as their asthma symptoms express and cough, especially nighttime cough, can be a problem. Now, of course, when the child progresses to wheezing, mm -hmm. the whistling sounds that come from the chest, then that's pretty obvious and a parent knows to seek help. So we're trying to inform parents so that they recognize symptoms earlier mm -hmm. and can get into the doctor. And the, the medication now is, is a lot better than it was when I was oh, a kid. Oh, yes, yes. Years ago, to be diagnosed with asthma was a jail sentence mm -hmm. because children were told all the things that they could not do. Nowadays, we do have many, many excellent medicines, mm -hmm. very effective and safe. But still, there are some lifestyle changes that will be recommended sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like what, for example? For example, if we define that a child is allergic to a food, mm -hmm. then we really want the parent to eliminate that food from the diet. Okay. Common foods that kids become allergic to are milk, eggs, wheat, fish, mm -hmm. soy, mm -hmm. peanut. Mm -hmm. If there is a pet in the environment to which the child is allergic, we're going to recommend removal of that pet. Mm -hmm. and that's tough yeah, because pets are part of our families, mm -hmm. but we really, really urge that. If not removal from the home, at least from the bedroom. Mm -hmm. what, what about the, the treatment? I mean, is it, is it, does it vary greatly from what an adult would do? 
Well, in some cases, yes, because the younger the child, the more limited we are in the options, but we still have very good options. Young children can't coordinate to use an, in, an inhaler very effectively, so sometimes we use oral medicines or nebulizer type medicines mm -hmm. where the air droplets will get into the lung and deliver the medication to the bronchial tubes where the problem is occurring. All right. Well, we are out of time, but I want to thank you, Dr. Cheryl Lucas. You're welcome. Thanks for spending your Saturday morning with us. You're very welcome. Well, coming up, cable cars, Ghirardelli.